it stopped rattling the door and uh, walked over to the window that was the right of the door. It seemed to have like a wolf head, elongated uh, wolf prints with claws digging into the ground, like, you know, where it looked like there was claws. And it floated through my sister. <laughs> And she screamed, really evil looking face. And it had long skinny fingers and stand up on its back legs. Hi, welcome to Dogman TP Hunting. And if you're listening to this, it's on the Interdimensional Voyagers podcast. I'm really happy today to be interviewing Chris. She's uh, from the States, um, living in Utah at the moment. Uh, and I believe she had the um, experiences in Oregon of Dogman. Glad I got that right, Chris. So uh, <laughs> without further ado, I'd like to invite on um, Chris and uh, to tell us, and she's going to start from the beginning when she had Dogman uh, experiences. Okay, thanks, Chris. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Um, right, if you could start from the beginning, because we did, this is the second time around, guys, because we had a problem with uh, a technical problem. Um, not quite sure what happened i think on my side uh there was an issue with the uh program that i'm using but anyway i'm so sorry about that chris and um if you could start again that'd be great please okay so okay, the where... sorry no that's fine where did it start um it was okay it was um in a little city um in oregon it was about um it wasn't called Portland, but it's known as Portland. So it's like um, 15, 20 minutes from Portland mm -hmm. um, in a place called Milwaukee, Oregon. And um, I was six years old and I had just turned six uh, July and um, we moved into this new house on August 14th of 1983. And um, the area is kind of, I guess suburban. Um, it's it was city, but not busy city. So, um, in so it was a one level house, and um, they had a basement. And um, because of the, having a basement, the window was a little higher up. It was about eight foot off. Uh, the bottom of the window was about eight foot off the ground. And behind the back of the house, there um, about twelve feet from the back of the house. There was a tree line, and um, it was a thin tree line, and the trees were about 10 feet tall, um, and behind that was a fence. Behind the fence was a, a thick uh, sticker bush, or blackberry bushes, I guess, and um, so about a mile back from there would be, the, there was a river, so um, it was more uh, woody in back of the place than it was the front and we were living on a dead end street and we were close to the end of the street and um so uh the first i think it was the second night we were there um we had um i was in a sharing room and a bed with my sister and she was four years old and um our bed um, was sitting um, by the wall and so my sister laid up against the wall and I was closest to the window. Um, the window was about seven feet from our bed but um, before the dog man encounter I had um, another type of paranormal paranormal thing come. It was um, I don't know what else to call it, demonic spirit or something. It was pretty creepy looking. Um, we were sleep, asleep, and I don't know what woke us up, if we sensed something, heard something, or if this thing woke us up on purpose. I don't know. But um, it was kind of floating off the floor. Um, it was dark, like very black, and um, I didn't see any legs or feet but I saw like arms, hands, fa like facial features. Um, it was just this really evil looking face and it had long skinny fingers and it, and then it ended up hovering over our bed. 
<clears throat> and uh, so um, about that time, I don't know what woke my mom up, but I don't know if she sensed the spirit or whatever. And um, so she came into our room and um, we're Christians and stuff. So um, she told it to leave in the name of Jesus. And it fa its facial features changed to like this panic look on its face. And um, and then it disappeared. Okay. Okay. So so um, you were you were in bed at a time with your sister. Yes. And um, did it just appear, or was there any noises beforehand? Well, we were was asleep, so I don't know exactly um, what woke us up. Um, I cannot remember i was pretty young so okay get it i get it I get it uh, have you seen anything um uh, on tv or any films or um and anywhere else maybe on uh, social media or anywhere that that resembles <coughs> what this thing looks like you know there's a lot of scary films out there uh, with yeah i don't things. i don't really watch a lot of horror films um but um if i from what I've watched, <laughs> this might sound dumb, but uh -huh. kind of uh, the ghost movie, the the things that come and take the evil people. <laughs> oh, Patrick Swayze. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like um, well, they, it was shadowy. Um, I can't really, I don't really know because like I said, I don't really watch a lot of horror movies. No, um, no, no. But so to you... To you, it looks uh, more like a shadow being, did it? Did, was it defined? Did it? Did its facial features were they quite defined, or were they shadow? Yeah, it was more more detailed than that movie, but because um, like I seen like eyes, nose, chin, and mouth, and stuff like that, um, and it looked really creepy looking, um, evil, uh, an evil looking face. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, anything about this? Uh, did it have like human type eyes, or was it they they like more um, cat shaped eyes? Uh, were they uh, glowing, or were probably they... probably like snake looking eyes? Actually, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, perfect. Sense. But sense. I don't remember yeah. them glowing. Um, okay. Uh, I don't even but... remember what color they were. Uh, just. No, sure. And this yeah. thing was, uh, and it was floating above your bed. Did you say? Yes. Okay. All right then. Uh, did like, you? Did your sister see it, Chris? Yes, she did. I don't remember what she thought. She was only four, so yeah, yeah. She doesn't really didn't really talk much about it and stuff. But um, you know, so I was the oldest of uh, three. I had a little brother also, but he wasn't uh, there, so. <laughs> Okay, um, you remember its fingers though. Its fingers were very long and spindly, yeah. Yeah, they had. Uh, you, I don't know if you ever seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People and that banshee on her little her long fingers on there. <laughs> I don't know if you yeah, ever seen no. that movie. No. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, sorry. What, what film was that, Chris? What uh, Dar Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Uh. It had no. Sean Connery when he was younger. Um, no, I'll have to have a look at that. I'll have to have a okay. look at that. Yeah, yeah it's actually uh, a pretty good little film. Okay. But, um, there was a banshee on there. She had these long fingers, and I don't know. <laughs> Almost like you know, like uh, you you envisage uh, like witches' hands have long fingers with like kind of long nails and witches. Ye yeah. That type of thing. All right. Uh, how did it make you feel when you saw it, other than scared? Did it? I know you must have been scared. It cause... made us feel like we weren't wanted in that house, like we were intruding upon its space or something. And I'm wondering if the, it was one of the reasons the people before us left there. I don't know. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um so when you moved into that house did you, you you always had like an under underlying feeling of uh did you have an underlying feeling of like um the house being a bit oh it's a bit weird chris in this house that kind of feeling um i know well, you were not getting... not the first night but after that 
we I kind of sensed like uh, um, something. Yeah, it was a little strange. I, okay. Right. Like unwelcoming or whatever. Yeah. I was brought up, I was brought up uh, Church of England. Okay. So, uh, we were always, uh, uh, I was always brought up to believe that the Holy Spirit was always, you know, in and around where, whatever mm -hmm. we do and wherever we are, the Holy Spirit okay. was always there. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, we were, we were always like kind of, I used to go to school and, you know, uh, they used to sit on the floor before we took any lessons, sit on the floor and sing Cat Stevens songs, you know, um, <laughs> legged, you know, morning is broken and all those. Um, uh, but it seems to be, a, a, do you think it was a case that, uh, this, this entity came to you because it was also, uh, uh, a bit like kind of peed off because you were quite religious family? Maybe I wonder that. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah, my mom usually, I don't know what you know exactly about uh, rituals or whatever. I don't know if it's called a ritual, but she'd usually take like anointing oil and put it over the doors and stuff when we first move into a place. Okay. But, but she had forgotten to do that here because she was so tired from the move. And, you know, she's chasing around three kids and moving in yeah. and stuff you know so she was yeah, really sure. tired so yeah yeah sure yeah it's funny the little things i do you know i can remember uh my mum used to put a uh coin it used to be like a a, a a a coin sometimes um uh oh what else was it like a crucifix as well um okay. i wish i kept the coin now but she used to put that <laughs> uh in my pillowcase Oh, okay. And I flipped. Yeah. I used to find this like kind of wake up with this like uh I think what the hell is a neck pillowcase? It used to be like a coin or maybe a crucifix inside the pillowcase. Tiny mm -hmm. little Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, it's funny the things that we do. Um <laughs> Okay, did it did you ever see it again, Chris? That being? No, never. Well okay. actually there was one other time. Um I don't know how old we were but my mom saw this thing floating around i don't know if it's the same exact spirit but um she saw it floating around and so we all gathered in front of this door in this room it was my brother little brother's room and so my mom cast it out and told it to go um and my sister was standing in the doorway mm -hmm. and i'm guessing that maybe she would have been about my uh six or seven at the time so that would have made me about eight or nine. I don't know, somewhere around there. And uh, so she stood in the doorway and my mom told this thing to leave in the name of Jesus. And it floated through my sister. <laughs> and she screamed. And she said she had this feeling of like cold or ice going through her body when it went through her. And she said just like this really creepy feeling. Wow. Okay. I'm glad I wasn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad as well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so basically, she had like a ghost go through her. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what was the fit? Did you see the figure? Did she see the figure? I don't remember it too well for some reason. Um, I've okay. had a lot of traumas over the years. And so my mind blocked out a lot of things. And so. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Interesting. Uh, well, it was very, it's very rare that you find some, uh, you know, one of these like spirits, maybe a, a ghost. If we're talking about a ghost, um, mm -hmm. do you th do you think we're talking about a ghost? Um. Yeah, I guess a ghost, a demon, something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, right. it did run through her, so it wasn't like it had a physical body. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Disembodied right. spirit, maybe, I guess you call them. Okay, yeah. Right. D did you, uh, you know, when it ran through, when it, when, it, when it ran through her, did you see, like, her, her body uh, uh, kind of move? You know, like, you'd imagine, if, some, if somebody ran through me, I would imagine that it would kind of, like, 
put me off kilter. It would make me off balance. It would move me somehow. Yeah, yeah. She had to grab the door frame. <laughs> oh, she did, did she? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, it did move her then. It did move her. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And she just felt cold when it went through her, just cold. Yeah, cold and creepy. <laughs> cold and creepy <laughs> all right lovely yeah all right that's straight to the point isn't it yeah cold and creepy um okay you that you were both you were quite young then when this all first started with the uh you know paranormal yes okay right um all right yeah continue what, what else have we got what else have you got up your sleeve? i don't know how long after it was the demonic spirit that was in the room um I, it was less than two weeks, though. I know that. <laughs> but I don't know exactly how many days. But, um, again, we were, you know, tired. And um, it had to be later than 10 because my parents go to bed about that time. And everyone was asleep. And um, so my sister and I uh, heard this tap, tap, tap on the window, like, a claw sound or nails tapping on the window. Mm -hmm. And so we sat up and looked at the window. <laughs> oh boy. And, uh, and we saw this face looking at us. And, um, I think the first thing I saw was the glowing red eyes. It, <laughs> they were like angry looking glowing red eyes. And my sister looked at me and goes, oh, boy, laid down, rolled over, and went back to sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I don't hear too many kids that would have been able to do that. But she said when we got older, I talked to her a little bit about it. And she said that, well, you're my big sister. I thought you were going to protect me from that. So I thought I was safe. And I'm like, seriously, you know, <laughs> things kids think, you know, it's funny. But, um, but me, I couldn't keep my eyes off the thing. I don't know if it was talking to me like telepathically or what, but I just felt if I took my eyes off of this thing, it was going to come in and get me. And, um, and it, it also gave that same vibe that the spirit gave of, we don't want you here. You know, like you're intruding in our space type of thing. But, um, so this thing had, it was, I think it was a dark brown. I'm not 100% sure because it was pretty dark, but it uh -huh. didn't look black to me. Um, but uh, it um, had long pointy ears and tufts of hair at the top of the um, ears. And its snout wasn't like super long, but it was like a medium length of kind of like a chow, I guess. About that size. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and uh, its mouth was wide open because it was growling, and you could see like the drool dripping off one of its teeth, and just like pure anger and hate coming off the face. Oh, um, I'm guessing the thing probably was about eight and a half, nine feet tall, because like I said earlier, the bottom of the window was eight feet, and his head was at least at the middle of the window. And, um, and, uh, I didn't see the whole thing because I could just see from like the chest up from where I was because, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, but, uh, it just, it was pretty hairy from what I could tell. Um, I, when I saw it, it was laying one of its hands on the window, probably the one that was using the tap with. And so, you know, it had like those, uh, it was like a little more human than <clears throat> like uh, the werewolf look, but not like less raccoony than um, they like. I know you. I don't know if you've heard them say they look like raccoon hands, but these yeah. look a little more human, except for they were a lot thinner. It's really weird. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, sorry. Well, Go ahead. No, 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 no. That's fine, Chris. Thank you. Listen. Um, did you with the with this event and the previous events we were, were your parents your mum or your dad or both of them were they aware of this going on 
Well, <clears throat> yeah, my parents knew about the spirit, but yeah. um, because they're the ones. My mom is the one who came in the room and told it to leave in Jesus' name and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> so she knew about them. Okay, right, all right. How far away were you from? Can you give us a, a, a general location of this house in in as far as uh, is it along a main road? Is it on a back road? Um, does it have a garden that leads on to uh, another garden? Is it um, uh, is it near a woods? Is it near a forest? Can you give us a general um, location sort of that old house that you had? Well, the front of the house was kind of. I mean, we weren't like uh, super close to the city, but they're um, maybe about eight blocks from a grocery store from mm -hmm. the, you know, in the front of the house. But the back of the house was more um, secluded. There was a lot of bushes and trees and like the blackberry bushes and um, stuff. And then it went like um, about a mile before there was any homes behind us. And then um, behind those homes, there was a river that was kind of more secluded. So that makes any sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so it was quite from from what I guess from what you're saying, um, it was basically a, a, a burb, and you uh, were in and amongst uh, like an estate if you like you know like an estate of houses a suburb of houses um uh so the roads were kind of like uh la quite wide but quiet it depends on the rush hour or not but usually quite quiet is that the way uh these yeah. Were meant, yeah and these were kind of like when they were built they were all built to be and look the same along this row uh not exactly Oh, the houses did look different. I mean, like some of them were two stories and some of them were just one story. So, okay. All right then. Okay. So, so yeah, I was just wondering kind of, cause it's, it's rare to find, um, a, a, a dog man entity, um, coming quite close into a suburb, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they're kind of like on the outskirts of a, a forest or a woods and they'll venture in. Um, right but it sounds like they had to this particular one had to come quite far to where you were in your house yeah so, maybe uh, a mile was uh, from any seclusion yeah okay yeah and you see what going that mile when it had to travel that mile um it would have to have gone through it would have had to have uh, navigated its way through streets i guess well there's really only one maybe one or two streets behind um our uh place but it was a little ways from the because we had like blackberry bushes and so they were pretty thick okay um if that makes sense and so uh, there was like um maybe 20 30 feet of those and then behind that there was one street and then uh, um and then like it was a sh small street um, you know, not a busy street, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to ask you something now. Um, you don't have to answer, but uh, I've 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 noted something when people have sightings uh, a lot of times, especially of dogmen. Um, it's usually when they they sometimes when they maybe have uh, um, had some kind of trouble or they're feeling a bit low or they've had depression or, you know, there's been something which has gone on and mm -hmm. this seems to sort of bring on an event where they see dog man entity. Were you, uh, do, do you know what your kind of, uh, um, f uh, feeling was your, your attitude at the time? Were you happy? Was everything okay really with you or were you kind of in, in a bit depressed or were you having troubles? You don't have to be specific about your troubles, Chris. It's just generally how were you at the time? Um, it was just a normal six-year-old <laughs> as far okay. as I know. Yeah. Okay. All right then. When you saw this uh, 
at the window um you was there any other witness you did you, my sister she was she's seen it but she went back to sleep yeah got it right okay um did she talk about it with you afterwards as you got older yeah that was when she told me that the reason she went <laughs> went back yeah. to sleep because she thought i was going to protect her so maybe eight years ago or so somewhere around there okay then all right um has she had any uh events herself not that i'm aware of okay all right um when you saw this thing at the window how did it make you feel i know you must have been like jeepers no what the hell is that but did it have an intent did you feel that it had an intent to come in you know i know you said that uh you said that um uh you felt that, that it, it, it it had an intent yeah um well it just felt i don't know if it was my own mind or if it was telling me or what but i just felt like if i didn't keep my eyes on it that it was going to come get me. So I I don't know if that was just my little mind or if it was telling me that. Yeah. Or, okay. But and then um, I also felt like it didn't. It was trying to tell us to leave. Which you know, if they're trying to tell you to leave, I don't know why they don't go to the parents because <laughs> the kids yeah. aren't in charge of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, no, it's that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's odd, isn't it? It is odd. Well, um, you told your parents about this dog man, did you? Yes. Uh, the next morning, my sister and I went and told ma my parents what we saw. But with my little mind, it was just like after the last Star Wars movie came out in you know, Turn of the Jedi. So we, not that it looked like him, but we equated it to him because he was evil. Darth Vader. You yeah. Know. Okay. We told mom that Darth Vader came to our window, but it was a hairy Darth Vader, is what we said. <laughs> I don't know but, why we said that, but that's what we told her. And um, we said it looked like a scary wolf looking Darth Vader <laughs> or something stupid like okay. that. Kids right, are yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so then my, my dad and his brother went out and investigated the backyard. And um, so since it was summer, uh, we had used the sprinklers and stuff. And so the ground was wet um, and there was um, some footprints and they were like um, elongated, uh, elongated uh, wolf prints with claws digging into the ground. Like, you know, where it looks like there was claws. And they were facing, the first set was facing the window, and then they saw um, a, a couple of different sets heading towards the blackberry bushes in the back of the house. However, wow. they told us that they did not believe that we saw what we told them we saw. <laughs> Even with the evidence. Uh oh. Right. Okay. Yeah. But it could have been a case it'd be fascinating to, to it could have because a lot of times with parents they say you know oh, i don't believe that it's nonsense be right almost almost do you know what i mean almost to kind of like uh pacify the child you know look, it was a load of old even though they found the footprints right they might just oh it's nothing so you know rather than say yeah wow yeah we did so we found footprints that's massive you know, because uh, it would just reconfirm to the child, look, you know, there was something at the window. And at the end of the day, you got to live there, haven't you? So, you know. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, seriously, that is amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, your dad, at the time, uh, your mum or dad, about the footprints, whoever saw the footprints, uh, did they tell you later on? They must have said late, uh, at the time about these footprints, they found footprints. Yeah, they um, came in and told us. Uh, I think we heard them, my dad talking to my mom about them. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So I didn't even tell you. Right, that, that makes it even more credible. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right, then. And uh, it was about nine foot tall. You you worked out with the height of the window and the basement. 
so it would have to mm-hmm. have been about nine foot tall. Okay. Yeah, somewhere around um, there, yeah. Right. Wow, absolutely amazing. What amazing story, my word. Um okay. Um right. It wasn't I know it's gonna sound really strange, but um uh did you get any I know you had that feeling in your head, you know, of if you don't keep your eyes on me, then I'm going to come in the house. Uh-huh. Uh, you had that. Uh, would you say that that feeling in your head, I know you're a little girl and it's difficult because it's a while ago now, but uh, would you say that was like a kind of a mind speak or was that more of a feeling? I don't remember exactly okay all right then wow okay that is amazing absolutely amazing because you found i mean the, the amazing part of it is because of the, one you'll encounter in the footprints afterwards because of the sprinkler mm-hmm. um yeah uh, you played in the area with other kids right yeah, um, we when we made friends with our neighbors and my brother and sister. Okay, um, uh, as kids do, you know, they chat and stuff, and especially, uh, you know, especially seeing a furry Darth Vader. Did um, uh, <laughs> did you tell the other kids? Did you say, look, you know, I've seen a, I don't know what it was, a furry Darth Vader. You know, did have they ever seen? It? Do you remember them saying that they seen anything strange? I had not heard any other kids saying anything that okay. I remember. Yeah. Right. Okay. And its muzzle wasn't as long as, you know, as some of the thick pictures that you see nowadays. Uh, a lot of the AI art, when you see the AI art, it's got dog man having a really long, long muzzle. But this one wasn't particularly that long. It was quite stubby. Right. Oh, uh, you, have you seen the picture of the LBL beast? Yeah. Okay, so it was kind of like that, but the snout was slightly longer than that. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, did you see it go or not? Did you see no, it No, that's the weirdest thing. I don't remember seeing it leave. I don't know if it disappeared or maybe it put me to sleep or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't remember seeing it leave. <laughs> and it's so strange. <laughs> Okay, right. So one minute you're, you're staring at it, and next minute you just, it just, you can't remember what happened. It just went. It wasn't right. there. Okay, right. But you do remember looking out the window and it was empty, an empty window, nothing there. Yes. Okay. After, right. like, in the morning when I woke up. Oh, all right. Okay, then. Wow, that's strange. That is mm-hmm. odd. Yeah. Have you told have you told anyone like have you told your uh, uh other partner, your partner that you have at the moment? What do they think of it? He gives me a very hard time if I talk about dog man or anything like that. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, it is it, it I, I've had it. I've had it. You know, it's um you know, not 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 particularly with uh, not particularly like with my partner. I've been lucky like that. Um, uh, <laughs> she well, she kind of sits on the fence. You know, she's like doesn't believe does uh, does believe doesn't believe. She sort of uh, <laughs> thinks she just thinks I'm nuts genuinely. Um, but uh, it's hard to explain to someone who hasn't had a sighting or an experience, isn't it? It's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, you haven't they, told they, too many people because I mean, like, who's going to believe you, anyways? Unless somebody else has already gone through it, they don't get it. No, 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 exactly. Um, okay, right. And it always, it, it, it's always stayed with you, obviously. It's always stayed with you, that has. yeah. Well, mm. it's kind of weird because, like, I had it like stuck in the back of my mind. Um, I keep getting a phone call. Can okay. I um put it on pause for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'll just yeah, right. Um, amazing story that was. Uh, have you had anything since with that, Chris? 
Well, um, at that place, we um, stayed there for another, uh, for like 21 years. But, I mean, I didn't live there for the whole time, but my parents did. Uh, but over those years, while we were still there, um, I felt like uh, I was being watched. And then I, I couldn't get super close to the window. I had this fear after that um, of as soon as it starts getting dark, I couldn't be near windows. But I was close enough where I could look out the window and I would still see like the red glowing eyes in the tree line. So that was okay. pretty much it. Right. Okay. Uh, was it just one set of eyes or a time one set or two? Usually just one set. Okay. Right. The, uh, I've got to ask you this in your heart of hearts. Did you have the feeling that it was the same? Did you have that feeling that it was the same? It was the same entity, the same dog man. Yeah. It, it did okay. feel like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, well, is it, is it, you did have another, um, experience, I gather, because we did speak about this. Um, yeah. can you share that with us, please? Is that possible? Okay. okay. Well, um, it was, uh, February of 1997. Um, I was 19 years old. I had, uh, just gotten married a few months before. And um, we were living uh, in a more rural area. It was um, maybe 40 minutes from my first encounter. And it was um, a government housing uh, place. Um, it was like uh, several uh, duplexes across the, the property. And um, there was this laundry room. It was quite a few feet away from the building. and. Um, and it was, um, the setting was more around like a bunch of farmland and woodsy, woody areas. Um, like I could see the woods from the laundry room. And so, um, and I had another paranormal type event um, before this encounter. And um, we were, I was telling about that ritual with my mom, and so I was taught to do that. And so I was getting ready to pray over my house or my apartment duplex. Um, because next to us, we had like a Satanist in the building right next to us. So I kind of thought, well, it might be a good idea to pray over the apartment. And um, <laughs> so I went to grab the oil to anoint the house and before I could grab it I guess the enemy somebody sensed that we were going to pray and I didn't see the entity but I saw them pick up the bottle walk across the floor or I didn't see them walk but you know carry it across the floor and they smashed the bottle into the floor and it shattered yeah <laughs> so that kind of right. freaked us out but we never seen this thing we sensed the presence there after it did this, and we screamed, and then we prayed, and so um, I never seen seen that thing and since the presence of it after that. But um, my husband's face kept changing like a dark face after that. So I don't know what was going on. It was really strange, and he was a very abusive man. I don't know if that effect is why it was affecting him or whatever but um okay. okay and just to clarify this is uh this is on uh is it, did you say it's on base housing this was uh, a government housing uh project that they have here for people on low income okay stuff. got you all right then okay and, um, uh, is it, it gated is it a gated private gated one or is it no open? it was open okay. it was like a bunch, okay. a couple of different like hills and stuff and it was in the said it more in the country setting like all the things around us was farmland except for across the street there was a southern baptist church so that was it that was all that was around there okay <laughs> and, like then. woods and stuff yeah. yeah 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 sure yeah okay um right and uh, <laughs> i guess i guess the entity didn't come back and clear the glass up no 
No, I had to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be, yeah. I would be praying. I'd be praying. I'd say a little prayer. Yeah, I'd yeah. Good. Just come, come and clear, come and clear it up for me. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you saw, you saw this um, bottle being lifted up and carried. You saw it being moved through the air, did you? Yes. Right. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I was uh, totally freaked out by that. <laughs> well, yeah, you would be. You would be. Anyone. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, when it was being carried, if it was a, a person carrying, picking up, if I was going to pick up a bottle to carry it, I would probably carry it about a little lower than waist height. I just like, is it about that level off the ground, walking along, going along? Probably a about little bit foot? higher than that. Maybe more to my chest, but it was probably floating across the floor. I don't know. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, since I never saw the thing, I I couldn't, you know, say much about it. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone else see it, or just you? My my husband at the time was there too. So. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, I, I, uh, uh, fine. Okay, and uh, your husband, his reaction at the time to that, just to that. Event. Both of us kind of just screamed, you know, like ah. <laughs> so right. Okay. All right. Um, crazy. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? These things are so absurd. You yes. know, not that yours is absurd. I believe. I honestly believe you. You are a you know you come across as being a coherent genuine person okay. um it's just the events are absurd aren't they strange yeah yeah know. i mean um odd uh uh right okay um yeah let's carry on what, <laughs> what else have you got to tell us <laughs> so about a week later i was carrying my laundry um mm -hmm. And I had my keys in one hand and the laundry basket in the other. It was about 3.30 in the afternoon. And so um, the laundry room was up a short hill. So it was not like nothing major, but you had to take a few steps up the hill. And so, um, and there was a couple of trees on the side of, of the hill, like to the, just before you got up the hill. And in the middle, um, of the hill, um, I saw this dark figure, um, like squatting in front of the hill, and it was holding. I don't know if it was a squirrel or what, but it was holding some animal, and it was eating this animal. And I saw its hands, um, and so I was like, "This is so strange," you know. And I didn't want to run into this thing. But um, his hands looked like raccoony hands, uh, you know. So look, look, um, look, sorry, say again. His hands looked like what? Sorry, raccoon type hands. Rac rac hands, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but I tried to avoid this thing. I didn't get a great look at it because I was trying to avoid it, but I did see that it had like pointy ears and it was like a dark form. And so I go around um, a you know, a different direction to get up that hill. Hopefully it won't hear me or see me or anything. Mm -hmm. So I get up that hill and about the time I reached the top of it, I saw this thing stand up on its back legs <laughs> and it totally scared me, but I gasped, you know, cause it shocked me. Um, yeah. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and uh, so it was sniffing the air. And then it turned around and looked right into my face. <laughs> and I was like totally panicking about that time. Uh, so I'm like trying to think in my mind, you know, um, it's going a mile and then it's just trying to think, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm out here with this thing. I don't know what this thing is. There was no one else around that I saw or anything. And I've never heard anything. One mention anything, but uh, anyways, I started walking backwards 
because I didn't want to get my eyes off of it, and I didn't think it was a good idea to run because then they start chasing you typically, you know, so I'm walking yep. backwards. And um, so I'm trying to get to the laundry room, which is maybe 10 feet from the top of the hill. And the, about that time, the thing takes two steps and it's at the top of the hill. And, um, and so I'm like maybe five feet from the laundry at this time. And I set up my walk a little bit and it took one step and was only a couple feet away from me at this point. And my hands are shaking. So, you know, everything's in like slow motion. It's like watching a horror movie. Your hands are shaking. You can't get the keys in the door. And so I, um, I do get it in there. I don't um, know how I got away um, because like this thing gets to me and I don't know if there was an angel there or not. I didn't see anything, but it doesn't mean there wasn't one there, but it's the only thing that makes sense to me, but um, it reaches out to grab me. And that was about the point that I got into the uh, laundry room and I locked the door. And I, I don't know. If, I mean, I don't know how I, I managed getting in there before it grabbed me. <laughs> it, I mean, it reached out. So it was right there. <laughs> and um, I get the door locked. And I lean against the door. And, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. And um, about the time he starts jiggling the door handle. And it wasn't like just a small jiggle. He was really jiggling that thing. And I'm like, oh, God, this is it, you know. Um, he's going to break this door down, you know, because, you know, apartments don't have a lot of strong doors and stuff. So, um, I'm like totally panicking and I'm praying and, um, you know, so it's trying to get in and, um, then the, he stops jiggling the handle. Sorry. Uh, I go back when I get to this point, I usually get, go back to that. It was so scary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take um, your time. Take your time. If you need to, if you need to have a pause on a break, you can. You know, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Uh, okay, um, all right. Is um, it, um, just to, just to ask you, uh, when you when you saw when you first saw this thing and it was uh, uh, eating an animal, mm -hmm. um, was it crouched down at the time eating the animal? Yes, it was crouched okay. down. Uh, was it? Would you say that the was it by the side of a road? Was it like roadkill? It was eating, or no? This was um, in the complex. In the complex, so it's not not by a road. It wasn't like roadkill. Okay, right. Right. Uh, I mean, okay. it might have found it on the road or something because it wasn't, you know, super far from the road, but enough that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fine, uh, and it was quite at that time. It was quite a distance away from you, was it? Yeah. That's okay. I, right. That's why I went around. Yeah. Right. All right then. Right. Right. Okay. Um. Right. So you're in. You, it it chased you, and you're now in a laundry room, and mm -hmm. it's rattling the door to try and get in. It's mm -hmm. absurd, but it's like crazy fast. It bounded up in a couple of bounds, mm -hmm. which would have taken you a run, a good run to get there, yeah? Right. Okay, right. We got that. Um, uh, so you're in the laundry room, you're praying, and it's rattling the doorknob. Is it growling or making any sounds? I just could hear it, like, breathing. Um, like, you know, something with a lot of uh, lung power, breathe, and, you know, the loud sounds they make. Okay, right. And at that point, you were obviously in fear of your life. Yes. Okay, right. Yeah, I don't even know um, how I escaped it, so. <laughs> no, I got you. Yeah, 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 sure. Um, any idea on how big it was? Was it the same size? Was it about nine foot, eight foot? Um, I'd say at least eight and a half feet, maybe more. Okay. Um, because right. um, to the right of that door, there was a window, and he eventually walked over to that window, but it had to bend over to look in the window. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing it was pretty tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got you. Just to clarify, can you, can you first of all, just, I mean, um, 
it was uh when you saw it eating the animal what did that look like what did what what, what did this beast look like roughly to you it had pointy ears did it have a muzzle was it uh yeah well when i first saw it it was kind of like in a shadowy area and it was kind of a distance but i saw pointy ears and like a darker figure um it did seem it did seem to have like a wolf head from what i could tell okay right but it stood up you saw it stand up on two legs yes and it had the dog-like legs okay right so are you okay to take us back to that laundry room with the doorknob rattling what happened then okay Chris? yeah okay so about yeah um so um it stopped rattling the door and um, walked over to the window that was to the right of the door and peeked in and it gave me like it looked like it had a smirk on its face or you know a smile type look but it was like this evil looking grin to me and like it had like letting me know it had me you know type type look and um it peeks in the window and i got a way better look at it because it wasn't as dark as like um i mean it wasn't a dark super dark it was 3 30 in the afternoon however it was winter so it gets darker faster mm. <laughs> but um it was just at the when i first seen it there was like it was in the shade kind of mm. so but um Anyway, so this one was, I would say, probably like a charcoal gray, dark, super dark gray. Um, and have you seen the Underworld movies at all? Yeah, uh, yeah. I love them. Okay. They're brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And um, so this, uh, it looked a lot like them. <laughs> Did it? It looked like it, it, it looked like one of the werewolves in the under uh, in the underworld series of movies. Yes. Wow. Like. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wow. Because they're really uh, kind of um, they're big and they're they're muscular. These those things are the ones in the movie. Yes. And yeah, so it, it looked a lot like them, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I ended up eventually hiding behind a machine, hoping this thing would um, get bored and leave. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So, all right. So, say again. You. So it's rattling the doorknob. Um. Uh, you could hear it breathing. You were praying obviously say you know uh, 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 hoping to god it does not come in but did it just go away are you saying it went away or no not yet it did eventually but um at this point it was staring in the window and yeah. so i i'm like you know i i know it already seen me but i was hoping that if i hid behind the machine it would get tired of waiting for me to come out or whatever okay 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 <laughs> yeah yeah um and so I hear it like walk around the building and you could hear it like scraping its claws on the side of the um, building. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, yeah. you like hear it. It was like taunting me and stuff. And I heard it like snort a couple times um, and um, came back, you know, it went around the, win the building and then that they got back to the window eventually and started tapping and i'm like you know holding my breath and stuff and just is this ever going to end is this thing going to get me you know whatever and um so i didn't hear anything for a little while after the tapping and so i look around and he had his head turned and um so i went behind the machine again and still didn't hear anything and so i walk out uh kind of around and i didn't see it and so when I looked, it was getting back on all fours and it ran back into the woods.
Okay. Right. So, um, did it look awkward when it went on all fours? Did it look awkward to you, or did yeah. it look more natural it, on it, all like fours? The front legs were, like, really long, so it kind of... It looks like, you know, you see the movies when how the werewolves run, you know? Yeah. kind of looks yeah. weird. Yeah. And, and so it kind of looked like that. But at the time, I didn't really think werewolf because I hadn't seen werewolf movies at this point. Um, yeah. Uh, my parents never let me watch horror movies and stuff growing up. And, and so I hadn't watched really any at that point. So mm. I was about 30 before I started watching anything like that. <laughs> so... I got you yeah wow crazy yeah. that is mad isn't it isn't yeah, it yeah. Really, <laughs> there was no, no no one else saw this no not that i know i mean if they did they didn't say anything okay this is not that long ago either was there any um uh cameras in the place cctv or anything like that being that it's uh, uh one of these projects the area, you know. No, no, it didn't. Okay. It was actually in '97, so it has been a little while. Oh, uh, '97, yeah, it has been a bit. Isn't it? Yeah, I suppose '97, yeah. 2007. Yeah, it has been a while. Um, yeah, it was before mobiles as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, both of them were, so I didn't get to take pictures, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's right. Damn. I don't think I, I do you know, I think if I was in your position, the last thing I'd want to do is take a photo anyway. Right. I'm just trying to stay alive, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> think I would have tried crawling into that washing machine, you know, that dryer. I think I would have tried <laughs> Yeah. I think I'd, I'd probably crawl into it myself and just like close the door and just forget <laughs> that's it. I'm out. I'm out of there. You know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So, wow okay um have you got any uh, uh websites or that you want to promote or anything else you want to promote any uh facebooks or anything like that or are you quite happy with no i'm just um on you know i come on like the north american dog band project stuff like that and i'm actually the oregon uh state representative um for the north american dog man project and i have um a page on facebook Oh wow! Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm part of that. I'm part Are of that group. Are you UK yeah. version? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, also the uh, American North American Dog Man as well. I've oh, okay. Done to that. Is that yeah, how you I, found me, or? No. Um. Yeah, I found you on Facebook, but uh, you came on to a post uh saying about um that you had you you, you had um experiences mm -hmm. and uh uh all the people on the post were basically just saying oh uh oh wow we, um no well share 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 please let us know on here but i had the feeling that if you were going to it would probably be so much writing that i don't think you'd bother so right yeah <laughs> you know? I had a feeling. I don't know what it was, right, Chris. I just knew you had a lot of experiences. I don't know why. I just like kind of had a had a feeling that you had a lot. So I thought, well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, let's uh, see if you come on. And um, it's always better quicker to vocalise it, and you get more feeling off the people, off the person. You right. Know, you get more of a feeling, you know. Um, oh yeah, but North American Dog Man Project. I think you also because there's another one. Was it uh, the uh, uh west oh god north american well, west american west coast I, yeah i that's where i posted the ai pit photo um that, the, yes, yeah, yeah that's the one yeah that's the one i think i was on yeah yeah, yeah. so i um, yeah I'll, I'll probably get into trouble now because i'm uk based maybe i shouldn't be on a north american one but uh <laughs> eh, i don't think they mind <laughs> no no, but I, I do I do put a lot. I contribute an awful lot onto you know, yeah. posting. I've seen your name a yeah. few times, so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm always I'm always popping up somewhere, you know. <laughs> um so yeah, okay. Um now look, have you got any more experiences? Well, I don't myself, but my late husband did have one that um, well he had okay. one dog man and he didn't see the second entity, so <laughs> 
Hey, well, say again. Sorry, Chris, what? He, uh, my late husband, uh, he saw a dog man. He didn't know what it was, but that's how I started doing the research because um, after having trauma over the years, I kind of forgot about my, um, all, a lot of the details of my experiences. And when he told me his story, I started doing the research, and that's how I um, I came across first uh, Vic Cundiff's channel and learned about the dogmen that way. So. <laughs> okay, got yeah, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Um, is this the uh, listen? First of all, you know when he had that one in the laundry room, that that event in the laundry room with that dogman. Mm -hmm. Um, there wasn't anyone else that saw it at all, was there? Not, I have no idea. But if they did, they didn't say anything. I didn't okay, see anyone right. there myself. But <laughs> okay, right? Did you tell anyone? Just my husband, because he's when I came home, he said I looked pale, like I saw a ghost. And so he asked me what happened. <laughs> I told him what happened and he goes, yeah, sure. Whatever, you know, and kind of blew it off. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As so you I haven't really told anyone, but I did talk to Sh um, Shane, uh, Michael, Chris, I don't know if you heard of him. Uh, on yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I and yeah. I've talked uh, Todd meets or something. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. So I've told okay. them about it. <laughs> All right then. Listen, Thank you for coming on, Chris. I appreciate it. Okay, right. I uh, just want to say uh, thank you very much to Chris. Um, that was absolutely amazing, that account. Uh, both those accounts, actually. Um, what an amazing guest. And um, thank you very much for joining. Um, if you'd be so kind, uh, if you want to, it really helps a channel, a small channel like this, anyway. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, it's all free. Don't cost anything. And really goes a long way to help to bring more content out like this, you know. Um, and that would be really good. Because uh, um, at the end of the day, these things are experienced. These things happen. And these people are credible, you know. Um, and um, there's more, as they say, in... Uh, heaven and earth than we know really isn't there but uh anyway thank you very much for watching take care god bless